Alright, hey guys, it's Thief Cat here, and welcome back to our Fallout 3 walkthrough slash let's play. Our boy Alex is just... Hey, hey buddy! Hi! Yeah, so listen, thanks and all. Really great job you did there. Okay, not gonna lie, I did not expect that to open dialogue. But he seems a little stuck. Anyway, last time we left off... Uh, quest, 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 there we go. We found Dr. Lee, started, uh, tried to start Project Purity, you know, uh, something happened, some, some big stuff happened last episode, you guys should definitely check that out. So, we basically ran through one of the escape tunnels from Project Purity, or I think it's the Jefferson Memorial, let me look. I take that back, it's somewhere, it's here, I think it's the Jefferson Memorial. And we took one of the escape tunnels, and then we met the Brotherhood, because Dr. Lee knows their leader, Centennial Lions. So, we are basically going to head inside, do a little bit more digging for the main quest, and then we'll break off and do some stuff for ourselves. What can I do for you? Don't talk down to me, Lions. I had nowhere else to turn. You must help us. Project Purity has been overrun. Yes, I'd heard reports of an incident there. What details can you give us? The Enclave. They've attacked Project Purity. James is dead. There may be more, I don't know. You have to do something. Then it's as we feared. Madison, I'm sorry this happened. I wish we could have done something. Then do something now. They've taken over the Purifier. Lions, they cannot be permitted to have control over it. It's not right. No, no, no. Calm down. You know as well as I do that the purifier doesn't work. It's useless to them. Perhaps it's time to walk away. That's not true. James, he found what's been missing. We know how to get it running. Is that so? Does the Enclave know this? No, I don't think... I don't know. I, I just don't know what's happening anymore. All right, Madison, it'll be okay. Now, this is James's son, I presume? I can see the resemblance. Yes, he knows what we need. Vault Tech computer, something to locate equipment. Please help him. Very well, we'll sort this all out. Kale. Can I? Hi. Oh. I need to rest, lie down, or something. This is just too much. Rothschild should help you, but don't forget that he's Brotherhood. I've never trusted them. Be careful what you tell them. Alright, so this is the Brotherhood. Sorry for the uh, shaky intro, and sorry for not posting in a while. I've been kind of busy with other things in my life. Just got settled in at my new place. Got uh, my, other, my other work that I have to do. So I apologize for not posting more regularly and frequently, but that should hopefully change soon. And before you guys walk away, I gotta talk to you. Nope, you guys can't go load in there, I'm sorry. You just managed to get yourself into all sorts of trouble, don't you? Welcome to the Citadel. Not many civilians get to see the place. Talk to Scribe Jameson. She is our keeper of the scrolls. She will want to know what you have found. She spends most of her time in the archives. You'll find them in A-Ring, near the Great Hall. Paladin Gunny instructs all initiates in the use of power armor, but only after they've undergone a rigorous training regimen. Considering all that's happened, my father may grant you special permission, but you'll need to ask him yourself. Ah, there we go. That's what we want. I've read the report, seen the initial scans, but I can hardly believe it. I figured those radio transmissions were just old recordings. Never figured the Enclave would actually show up in the flesh. But don't worry. Whatever they try, we'll be ready for it. I'll lead the Pride to knock them out tomorrow. If my father permits it. Alright, well, if your father keeps on uh, being a wiener like that, you just let me know and we can go knock it out ourselves. If you know what I mean. It's the best of the Brotherhood, bar none. No one gets in without my say-so. Alright, so okay, being a wiener about it. You've seen them, so you know what we know. What more is there to say? If we can figure out where they're coming from, we might be able to stop them. If not... Alright, so we're done here. 
Yep, I'm gonna go talk to it. Nope, nope, nope. You have my condolences. Your father was a good man. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? The outcasts are a result of my greatest mistake. But a mistake I'm proud of, nonetheless. When I came here, I realized for the first time that the Brotherhood's technology could truly save the survivors in this wasteland. I chose to help them, even if it meant putting the Brotherhood's interests at risk. Some of my soldiers called me a hero. Others called me a traitor. The dissenters left my command, calling themselves outcasts to mock me. I cannot fault their dedication, even if I find them lacking in compassion. Only in a very broad sense, the Brotherhood's oaths are to protect humanity's progress, but not necessarily every human. The outcasts and members of the Brotherhood in other places consider it a waste to protect most people. After all, they say, everyone knows how to make another human, but the secrets to making a P-94 plasma rifle are all but lost. Even now, a year after they left, the wounds of their departure are still sore. Some of my soldiers are angry about it. They see it as an insult to me. Bless them for their loyalty. They're more angry about it than I ever was. Others understand their decision. Sometimes I hear them wondering if they should have gone with them. I can't blame them, but I stand by my decision, and I respect theirs. Oh, here we go. Hmm, considering the circumstances, I think it would be prudent if you received such training, yes. Speak to Gunny in the Bailey. You'll find him in the... More than anyone else, I dare say. Certainly enough to know they're the greatest threat the Capital Wasteland has ever faced. The Brotherhood of Steel has encountered the Enclave before, you see. Over 30 years ago, back in California. Then they were led by a President Richardson. Now we've got this Eden to contend with. It matters not now, as before they... Ordinary. Okay, so... If you guys couldn't already figure it out, one of the reasons why, the, the really the reason why I wanted to advance this far in the main quest before splitting off for a bit, is to receive power armor, because that is some of the best, uh, some of the best armor in the game. The higher, the higher end suits, I mean, and the only way you can get the perk or the ability to wear it is by completing up until this point in the main quest line, or by completing the Operation Anchorage DLC. I swear he's usually out here. I'm, I'm if I'm not mistaken. Initiate. You've got a lot of nerve. I swear. Th Heard you were coming. Yeah, I can train you, but don't ask me to like it. My initiates sweat blood, and you just get a free pass? Anyway, you ready for this? I apologize, guys. To wear power armor, first thing you need to do is relax your muscles. Let the suit do the work, okay? Now you. I really thought it said. I, I, I read and heard Bailey. Um, something's wrong with me, guys. I swore, I, I swore, my brain was telling me it was Bailey. I, I must have misread Gunny as Bailey, must have misheard Gunny as Bailey. I apologize. But now we can Bloody, wear, can I offer you up? But now we can, uh, now we can wear power armor, which is why last part I grabbed those, that Enclave power armor, and then, you know, put it all the way up. So this is what we look like right now. We're in the Enclave suit. But don't worry, I'll remedy that really shortly. We'll get our, our true suit very soon. In fact, actually, what we are going to do is skip quests. Okay, hang on. i got to find something real quick.
No, not there. Need something for Here for now. I think this is the, uh, if I remember right, this is the rough location. <laughs> what the? And guys, this is, um, I wanted to go here just for a moment because I think this is where uh, we need to go nearby. We need to go somewhere nearby. No more game. Got to, we got to repair vengeance soon. Yeah, I know, very soon. We've already been here, I believe. We've already been here. Sorry. Still need more lockpick. God damn it. I'll free her real quick. Maybe kill her if I feel like it. Not sure yet. I'm not in fucking combat. You know, this is bullshit. Okay. We need to head here, actually. Yeah, that's where we need to head, kind of. But we can't fucking get there with all these... I don't want to call them assholes, but I think that's, that's, that's pretty abrasive, actually. Okay. See, we, we have already been here. Okay, we're going to untie her. And then we're going to fast travel which where we need to go. We really kind of dragged that out. I'm and I'm kind of lagging this video. I apologize. I'm a little rusty. Thank you. Look, I don't have any. Okay, she's dead. We need to keep our karma low for now. And now, we need to fast travel over here. No, there's no enemy- God damn it, I'm gonna lose my- Okay. I might just- okay, I might just cut this whole thing out, of course, we'll be honest. Oh! Fuck you. God damn. I do to kill you guys though, unfortunately, for uh, to repair. Forgive me. Busy, not now. They can't kill each other. Okay, now that we're there, we can then fast travel to, uh...
Another human with a death wish. Welcome to the mall, tourist. Those knuckle draggers? Nah, they don't bother us ghouls. Maybe they see us as kin or something, I don't know. Now there's other assholes. Yeah, you know, those humans like you. Well, maybe not like you, I don't know, but humans all the same. The Brotherhood of Steel guys with their testosterone and power armor. Those psycho talent company mercs. Those other assholes. Nice to meet you too. I'm the sentry for Underworld. City of ghouls, inside the museum. For a tourist, you're pretty clueless. My name's Willow, by the way. Sure did. Underworld, it's right inside the Museum of History, then through the Big Skull. Most of the residents ain't crazy about humans, but they'll sell to you, fix you up so long as your caps are good and you ain't a ghoul hater. Alright guys, so this is where the cut is going to be, or where it's going to end at. This is where we need to go. If you saw the dialogue, then you'll know that this museum actually serves as a front slash tourist location for a safe haven of sorts for ghouls. And we're here because there's someone very important we need to talk to right now to get a very important quest that we need to get done. Let's see here. That right there is Underworld. Which we do need to go to. Or we could also go right, but I'm thinking that's the um, other part. Yeah, that sets for a quest. We won't go there just yet. But very soon, guys. In time, in time. <laughs> Alright, I want to get this thing on the road. I want to get this thing started because I want that uh, quest that I can't be very forthcoming about right now. Oh, well, would you look at that? We got us a smooth skin visitor. Ooh, we we ain't seen one of your type in a long time. Smooth skin? You know, because your skin is so smooth and tasty. Relax, I'm just kidding. But I had you going, didn't I? You're in underworld, smooth skin. The mutants leave us alone. Really, the Brotherhood of Steel is the only bastards. They don't seem to be able to tell us apart from the super mutants. Or maybe they just don't care. They see us and shoot on sight. At least they have the common courtesy to miss most. That's right. As long as you don't bother us, we won't bother you. Feel free to come and go, trade, sleep, whatever. Just make sure that you leave whatever trouble is following you at the door. Because we don't want it. So en enjoy your... We got a nice little... Me? I keep every hunk of old rusted pre-war garbage around here in operating condition. We've got lights, water, and ventilation. I've managed to keep it. We've scavenged just about all the scrap metal from all. We're scraping the bottom of the bed. Hey, you get around, don't you? We can work out a trade. Well, we got stim packs, but the dock keeps it. We also got us a ton of rap. Well, I'll... Really? Uh, five bits of scrap. I just want to do that to show to show what the rewards were and the dialogue options. But I mean, I need to scrap metal for something uh, else. Never seen a ghoul before. Now we'll do some talking real quick. I'll introduce you guys to the characters. Oh, why, hello there. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Quinn. You too, stranger. I know a lot of people around here don't take kindly to humans wandering around, but I've met a lot of your people in my travels. Yeah, just east of here. Bunch of guys with guns are holed up there. All right. You got something to say? Being nice to the ghouls, well, uh, it's worth it's a little benefit that I suggest you guys do because it pays off in a meager way for uh, getting some dialogue, I'm forgetting some stuff and easier dialogue checks and talking to people better. Winthrop, oh, Winthrop, okay, we'll have to come back to that. 
We'll check out the chop shop. See what's going on in there. Yes? Who are you? I'm afraid she's going to be out for a while. Don't worry, though. They're a mercenary company that bases itself out of the DC ruins. I'm assuming she's their leader, Riley. What was left of her armor had her name stenciled on it. No, I'm sorry. I... Um, I knew we didn't hide your speech. That'll be the next thing after repair, I promise. What's your medicine skill? Isn't it like 50? It's 30. F oh my god, it's nothing. Okay, we have big guns. Okay, yeah. Big guns, repair, and science at 100. So repair actually is done. My bad, my mistake. We'll do speech next. Even though it's kind of downgraded because of the armor. We'll do speech next. Repair, science, and big guns are at 100. Okay, so that's what I wanted. Then we, we'll focus on speech and medicine and lockpick a little bit. Welcome to the chop shop. Don't let our place's name f if you Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, no. And how can we help you to- Poor girl. I didn't think she'd make it through the first night she was brought in here. Dr. Burrows has done everything in his power to keep her alive. The doctor is convinced that the key to curing our appearance is locked within the human body. When Riley was brought in here, he saw a chance to put that theory to the test. First and foremost on Dr. Barrow's mind is her health and well-being. I can assure you of that. So far, none of his conclusions are finalized, but the tests he's running are coming up quite positive. Oh, I shouldn't be telling you any of this. He's trying to come up with a cure. A way to stop the human to ghoul transition perhaps even one day to reverse it well we're trying not to get too excited not only because we want to keep it quiet but also because the experiments look so promising for now just please try and keep what I've told you quiet no telling what reaction this could have if it got out all right, that'll be something to monitor going forward. Okay, not going there. Very interesting, trying to work on the preventing the ghoul effects. Very interesting. Do you want to hear a story about the wastes? Oh, a human. Well, we spend it at Carol's or the Ninth Circle. But I don't like it there. The rest we give to Quint. Okay, let me see how many. Let me see how many uh, EC we have. <sighs> okay, okay, that's more than I thought we had. I've got just the thing for you. Yeah, exactly. I got just the thing for you. And then for you, you can have you can have this, this. You can have that. Can have like a hundred of these darts. Nope, sorry, I need that. Resell. You can have that metal armor. I need those mini nukes actually. Nope. EC pack. So it takes EC packs for sure, except you confirmed it like three times because I'm so hesitant about buying the wrong ammo. So you can have like some energy, so you can have like a lot. Mm 
there. Another satisfied. Now we have a lot of ammo for vengeance, and hopefully we don't run out anytime soon. Well, that's it. <laughs> Civilian on deck. Negatory. I have been programmed to remain on premises at all times. In the event of hostilities, I will respond with deadly force. Go! Damn this pansy zombie programming. I am Cerberus. It is my solemn duty to guard the citizens of Underworld against any and all threats, both foreign and domestic. So, yes, I am the guard dog. All right, all right. This is a town full of peace-loving ghouls, so check your bigotry at the door. They're just like humans. They feel, they hurt, they bleed. They deserve the same love and respect as any... Personally, I think they're a bunch of rotting zombie maggot farms, and I'd send them all back to hell if I could. Damn this combat inhibitor! <laughs> If you couldn't tell, Cerberus is one of the most What's going on? interesting, one of the more interesting dialogue trees in this game. Big fan of his. Now we need to go to up the chop shop again. Up, 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 up. No, no, I'm losing my bearings again. We got Animal Vengeance now, so we're pretty stocked there for now. We gotta go up. We gotta head to the ninth circle. If Car we'll stop at Carol's, yep. We'll stop on Carol's on the way if we run into it, which we just did. Yeah, what is it? Oh, it's not much I know, but it's mine. It's so good to have someone new here, even if it is an ugly old smooth skin. I'm kidding, I'm just kidding. Don't make that face, you'll love it here. Gob? Yes, of course. He's my son, well, not really not like you would think of a son we ghouls don't really work like that but i love him like he's my own do you know him have you seen him is he all right that's that's terrible but at least i know he's alive so that's something if you get up that way again tell him that I said I miss him, and that I love him. But he shouldn't try to escape, it's too dangerous. No, no, he should stay put where he is. I couldn't bear the thought of him getting hurt. That's right, Herna, but things haven't really been the same since. Oh, that, well. I was born in 2051, so yes, that makes me a pre-war ghoul. I don't know how it happens. Dr. Burroughs says it was radiation. All I know is that people kept showing up here in the museum. After things calmed down above ground, we tried to live down here as best we could. After a while, things got strange. My skin started to get dry and flake off. Everyone's did. It took a while. Months. Maybe a year. But sooner or later, everyone ended up like this. Some of them went crazy. Some of us just accepted it. After a while, other ghouls would find their way in here and Underworld just sort of grew. No one bothered us down here. We were happy enough to leave them alone. And once my Greta showed up, it was a... I do. I was in a... I was just a little girl then. He stopped to help this one family. And I looked up and called his name. There was a flash of light brighter than anything you can imagine. I woke up a few hours later. The first thing I did was run up to where my father had been. He... he was gone. But the strangest thing... There was his shadow, burned, 
into the wall so crisp and clear, like he was standing next to me. The heat had burned it into the concrete. Wow, that's pretty dark. The city was on fire for weeks, maybe months, I don't know. I hid down here in the museum. It was the closest building to the shelter I was in. But I could hear what was happening above. People howling like animals, chaos, looting, killing. It's like every foul thing inside of them came out. It was a nightmare. I... I don't want to talk about it. You tell... Alright, now I'll take this as a compliment. Greta, Greta. If you want something to eat... To tell you the truth, hon, I... Something about hell. Not like anyone... Else. All right, that's good. We'll explore a bit later at uh, Carol's right now before this episode uh, gets too long. I really want to get that quest going. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah, man, that's what I do. I cut hair. I know, I know you look, these corpses only got half a Well, yeah. So, you think that I need to be sober to cut a go- These guys don't- I prefer stylist myself. I used to live in Rivet City. Folks there, I ended up here. Of course a go- I just took up chat. <laughs> okay. Haircut, it's a free haircut if you guys want it. Nope, just put this was at Carol's, can't do that. There we go. We gotta do some real talking here. Wow. Never seen a ghoul before. Uh, um, excuse me. No, go talk to Azraka. Don't. That's yeah. Sharon or Sharon, if you would, depending on how you pronounce it. And this is oh. Azraka. I'll be quiet. Who he keeps, or he just told us one time to go talk to. And if you try out the dialogue options again. No, go. To it's the same thing. Yep, you have to talk to Zucro or whatever. Well now. Looky here. We got us a smooth skin that I ain't ever seen before. I'm Azrakal. And this... This is the Ninth Circle. Folks got problems. And I got liquor to sell them. Well, liquor and a few other pick-me-ups. Huh? You need anything, uh, you just let me know. That's Sharon. Let's just say, well, he's a loyal employee. Don't mess with me, and he won't mess with you. I hold his contract, which makes me his employer. He will do what I ask, when I ask, without question. You see, Sharon grew up around a very interesting group of individuals. They, well, I guess you could say that they brainwashed him. He is absolutely loyal to whomever holds his contract. Unfailing, unflinching, until the day that employment ends. Don't get me wrong. I have no doubt that he holds no end of animosity towards me. But so long as he is my employee, he is as gentle as a teddy bear. Watches over the bar, keeps the drunks in line. Pretty much I point at something and Sharon hurts it. He's the best thug a corrupt bartender could ever ask for. He never bothers me with his own annoying sense of morality. No, he is not. Sir, you insult me. I do not believe in slavery. It is an abomination. I am a firm believer in personal choice. To force another person into bondage is unthinkable. 
chains are earned. Sharon made some choices that landed him in my employ. The matters of our contract is between him and I. No one else. His company is rather refreshing, isn't it? But don't mistake his brevity for stupidity. That would... Underestimating an opponent has been the last mistake of far too many individuals throughout history. Oh, would you now? He's a highly valuable asset to me and to the Ninth Circle. What did you have in mind? So, you can basically buy Chevron as a follower for 2,000 caps, or if your barter skills over 50, 1,000 caps. Or you could do what I do to gain some negative karma and not spend a dime because I we have no, we have no caps right now. I suppose we could do that. Uh, Although you might not like the deal that I have to offer. You see, I don't like competition. Not at all. It goes against every prince. Greta, the waitress over at Carol's. I want you to kill her. I don't want no jailhouse. Loyal employee that he is. Greta is quite popular. I need Sharon clearly. I'm glad to hear it. Come back to me when she's dead, and Sharon's contract is all yours. A word of advice. Be subtle. Open gunplay will only get the town to turn on you, and I will not be able to help you. Wake up, Wasteland! It's me, Read all. <coughs> all the music and news your little hearts can handle. See? So there you guys have it. It's a very interesting character. Both of them are, really. And the whole past allusions to what Sharon had to do to earn his uh, contract is pretty fascinating. Unfortunately, it's not really revealed, even in any dialogue with the man himself. But we could begin by killing her. Yeah, you. But first, we need to talk to him real quick. What are you looking at? You'd think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing son of a whore? I like a human that knows his place. Too many of you think we're all just zombies. They don't know or don't care that we're just as human as they are inside. We bleed, we hurt, we regret. And you know what really pisses me off? They think the only way to kill us is to shoot us in the head, like in the old zombie stories, and that'll put us out of our misery. Hey, I know. Maybe you could help me even the score. Not everyone is as sympathetic to ghouls as you are. In fact, some humans are downright bigots. They treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, I'm gonna make them pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? Well, aren't you the bloodthirsty type? I got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started out with eleven. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die. But it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories, where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll pay you a hundred caps for each one. 25 if they die some other way. Now, some music. Excellent. Take this sniper rifle. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys in their last known locations. Word will get around if ten pennies killed, but I'll need proof for the others. Bring me back something personal from each of them as proof. Like a key or a ring or something. They're cool haters. I want them all dead. Don't you think that's enough? And that starts the quest we need to do. Shoot, gotta shoot him in the head. Well, Ashley guys, that will conclude our episode today. We're reaching that time limit. I don't want the video to be too long for uh, you guys. I know how busy some of you are. 
So I do appreciate you guys for watching, and I also want to apologize for the uh, hiatus I've been on recently, but I'm hoping that will end today, and I should be back posting regularly. Any comments or feedback you guys leave would be very much appreciated. This channel is pretty new. I am trying to improve. I will start playing more recent games when the time comes. I just wanted to start this channel with something that was a little familiar, to me at least. I want to be somewhat knowledgeable about the game before I went in and started playing it. Thank you for watching, and please enjoy the rest of your day.